DJ DC coming in, you know to fucking do it over here. Uh, it's fucking Point Pleasant Beach. What am I cursing every time I get on the fucking camera? There we go, it comes again. You might think I'm Italian. Don't ever put that in the video. That was insanely retarded. You're from Point, you looked at as a surfer kid. I know how to like, I know how to wakeboard, I know how to snowboard, I know how to surf, I know how to do all these activities. A lot of things that a lot of people don't do, I just don't stop. I'm fucking loose, that's what I want people to know. Started my football career, um, never played Pop Warner, so freshman year of high school. Um, played four years, uh, made all state, all shore, all uh, county, all division, all that shit. Tore my ACL, went and played in college after that, tore my ACL again, came back, um, played Montclair State University four years, um, won, we were, let's see, top 20, top, Top 20 in Division 3 football for about four years straight. It'd be a fight that come out of me say, I'm kind of getting pissed off, I'm losing right now. I'm down one, I'm down 20. People be like, it's just a game. But the thing about me is I just, I always believe there's more in me than there is. I always think I can always get something more or something more. I'm kind of like the perfect coach for myself. A neighbor lived behind me and rented out a house um, named DJ Louis K. He rented a house for my parents and I'd go back there and have a few beers when I was younger. And he had a setup and I was like, what's this? And I started scratching, doing everything. And I was like, I couldn't get off the turntables. You, I was just a kid at a toy store. I couldn't get off the turntables. Four hours straight, five hours, six, down, you know. I was there every day, and I was breaking needles on his freaking techniques. 10, 13 years old, my house burned, my house burned down, uh, I got caught in a fire, um, you know, I was asleep, an electrical wire box fell down during a storm, I uh, started a fire in my parents' bathroom, uh, woke up, ended up running out of the house, lost everything, then, you know, I mean, it kind of taught me a lesson, I mean, I cherish more than anything I had, like, bought today, you know. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't give a fuck about DJ until I was started actually, like, partying. To be honest, it's not about the pay or anything, it's about fucking bitches and fucking getting drunk at the same time while you're doing it. I just couldn't stop, and I started, um, you know, I'm actually getting good with this. Getting girls getting paid, and then at the same time, you're the man. Little Wayne thing got Army Guns to see mine over here. Thug Life, favorite, favorite track. Musical influence will definitely be, you know, I'm gonna be like typical like everyone else. Definitely Michael Jackson with the Beat It record. No, girls just wanna have fun. Anything top 40, kids bop, whatever fucking sounds good. Who wants to influence me? Who did? Definitely say DJ Encore, you know, watching him learn a lot of things made me want to party more. I was like, fuck, this guy's a man, dude. Mostly being underage half the time because that fucking bullshit ID definitely worked. Picture my baby Jesus at the fucking Hemingway's on a Saturday night and he's standing in the front row holding two bags of cocaine and fucking t-shirt says I love DJ DC and he's got some kind of like mohawk design coming out of nowhere just got it done at fucking Zeb or fucking down the street in the hood you know what I mean he's just screaming there rocking his hands doing the doing the craziest shit you can ever think about